Welcome back guys to another FIFA 23 rating reveal. We have PSG today, so we are going to be covering the main man Lionel Messi, along with his companions Mbappe and Neymar. Um, as I've said in previous videos, obviously make sure to like and subscribe, but these are leaks. So these have been obtained from someone else. I'll be putting their Twitter handle down below. It's Footaholic365 has been sharing the details, and obviously that's provided the content, so thanks to them. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd cover it on YouTube and in, in video format. So, let's get into this. We're going to start at the back, as always, with Donnarumma. Donnarumma, 89 rated previously. He has unfortunately taken a minus 2 rating down to an 87. I think 89 was quite a high rating for him last year. So according to this, he's gone down to an 87 rated. You then have Hakimi and Kempembe. So Hakimi, 85 rated and has remained so. And then the same as Kimpembe. So no change there for them too. Hakimi was a great card last year, as was as as was, as was Kimpembe. Um I think both quite fair ratings really. I don't know all that much actually about Kimpembe. Hakimi staying eighty five, I think is a fair shout. Um, we then go to Marquinhos. So Marquinhos, 87 rated previously, has got a plus one upgrade and he's gone up to 88. Um, the thing with PSG is, I'm just looking at this now, is they've taken quite a few hits. So the next few I'm going to go through, I've taken a few hits here. So well, Kalor Navas has also been announced, 88 rated down to 86. That's a minus two rating. Um... Then you have Verratti, who's gone from 87 to 86, so that's another minus one. Wijnaldum's gone from 84 to 82, so that's another minus two there. And then you've got Mendes, who's gone, um, I think it's Nuno, Nuno Mendes, the left back, is gone from 78 rated to 81 rated. So that's a plus three, which is quite the burst. And then I suppose we get to the three that people probably care about, the ones they want to know. So, Messi, having left Barcelona, gone to PSG, ventured into a new new position or new club for the first time in his career, didn't really get the plaudits he wanted. I don't think he'd done the numbers he expected. Um, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, but he hit the bar a lot. That doesn't really change all too much um, he ended up in a minus 2 so he's gone from 93 which I thought was quite high for him last year anyway down to a 91 so it's a minus 2 upgrade which isn't isn't great that's pretty poor really um, it's a solid rating still, he's still 91 rated but it means he's lost his title spot and as we know from the previous uh, one I done on Man United, Ronaldo's gone down to a 90. So between the two of them, they're 90 91. I can confirm they no longer have the top spot on the game. So we then swap wing, I suppose. So Messi goes on the right. Left wing, Neymar, has gone from a 91 rated down to a 90. So they've removed one rating off of him as well. Um, Last year was probably my favourite card. He was incredible last year to use. And there was one person who would go with him. And he was also phenomenal to use. And the pair of them together just absolutely smashed my teams apart. Was Mbappe. And this is where we have the new highest rated player on the game. As far as I'm aware from the leaks. Is Kylian Mbappe. The now cover star as well. Um, he's gone from 91 rated up to a 92 rated and he is going to be vile to play against. Um, that's really it for the PSG side of things. Overall, PSG have taken a huge hit in ratings. Only three of the current leaks have actually gone up in rating. Mbappe, Mendes and Marquinhos. There's, a, there's two, Hakimi and Kimpembe, they stayed the same. Everyone else has come down in ratings. I don't know if that's because they overrated them previously and they're trying to stabilise it. You're seeing a lot of the higher end ones not really getting big boosts, but kind of level around that 90 mark. I I would rather kind of like 88 be the highest rated and then have more form of special cards and team of the weeks actually rewarding the high end a bit more. But 
that's probably asking a bit much, and they'll end up getting ridiculously overpowered. Um, but yeah, overall, they've they've had a poor a poor run there on their their stats. They've been absolutely slated here. But we now know Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar will be 91, 90, and 92. Um, that's still a front three and a half, isn't it? That's incredible. So let me know down below, what team do you want to see? What players do you want to see? And I'll do my best to get them out there. Cheers for watching.